Hi, I'm Michael Wan. Thanks for watching us tonight. There's a new sheriff in town. That is the subject of today's op-ed. President Trump is dealing with so many failed foreign policy from the previous administration. Now the craziest country of them all, North Korea, has become the single biggest headache to President Trump. Over the weekend, North Korea held a military parade and showed that they have intercontinental ballistic missiles and other weapons. On Sunday, North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un conducted a new missile test, which failed immediately after it launched. But it also showed that Kim Jong-un is a defiant dictator. It seems clear that the Trump administration will not follow the path of previous administrations. We can know this from what Vice President Mike Pence said recently at the Korean Demilitarized Zone. Mike Pence said this, quote, We stand with the people of South Korea, and all options are on the table to achieve the objectives and ensure the security of the people of this country, meaning South Korea, and the stability of this region, unquote. Well, one thing is also clear, that America has completely failed regarding its position towards North Korea. Let's take a time machine and go back to 23 years ago. In 1994, President Clinton's administration struck a deal with Kim Jong-il, Kim Jong-un's father. According to the New York Times, America then agreed to give North Korea over $4 billion in energy aid over a decade in exchange for North Korea ending its nuclear program. As part of the deal, North Korea agreed to allow inspectors into its nuclear sites. But the problem is, they were also allowed to keep their nuclear fuel rods. Even the notoriously left-leaning New York Times did not believe North Korea would break down its nuclear arsenal. But former President Bill Clinton bragged about how great the deal with North Korea was. He said this, and I quote, this is a good deal for the United States. North Korea will freeze and then dismantle its nuclear program. South Korea and our other allies will be better protected. The entire world will be safer as we slow the spread of nuclear weapons, unquote. Well, it turns out Bill Clinton was dead wrong and Clinton did pretty much nothing to stop North Korea's quest to nuclear bomb. Same goes to George W. Bush and also Barack Obama. And Barack Obama was weak on foreign policies. Do we all remember the red line in Syria? Obama was telling Syria's Bashar al-Assad that the use of chemical weapons would cross a red line. Well, as we all know, nothing happened. In August 2013, Assad killed more than 1,400 civilians in a serene gas attack near Damascus, which was another huge failure for Obama. Obama, former Secretary of State John Kerry, and former National Security Advisor Susan Rice all said Syria got rid of their chemical weapons in separate interviews. Well, as we all know for sure now, that Syria did not get rid of their chemical weapons. Well, it didn't take very long for even North Korea to break the deal. In 1998, North Korea fired a long-range missile over Japan into the Pacific Ocean. Then came the nuclear tests, first in 2006, which in all fairness happened during the Bush administration, then in 2009, 2013, in January 2016, and then finally the fifth and last one, and hopefully the last one, in September of 2016. Which reminds us of the Iran deal, another disastrous deal the Obama administration made. What is the Iran deal? It is essentially this. Giving $150 billion to Iran in exchange, Iran promising not to build nuclear weapons. But United States gave permission for Iran to self-inspect. Not just that, Obama and former Secretary of State John Kerry decided that it's okay for Iran, uh, for United States and UN to notify Iran that the inspection should be done 24 days in advance. Is this some Looney Tune deal? Well, yes, the Iran deal was that bad and insane. Well, Iran is still allowed to conduct missile tests, and the, and the Iran deal enriches and emboldens Iran. It destabilizes the region even further, and it puts our allies at risk. Well, it seems, like, it seems that President Trump is putting a stop to all these nonsense. Now, let's get to the bottom of this and see where Trump is going with this. Let's think about Trump during the campaign. What did he say about North Korea? He said that China has all the keys to solve the North Korea problem. Well, it seems like that is exactly the road Trump is taking us right now. Let's see what Trump made China do these, recently. China agreed to stop buying North Korea's coal, which could cost North Korea about $1 billion a year. And there are also talks about China cutting off even oil supply to North Korea. Would these things be happening if it was Obama or even with Hillary in the White House? Now, we know that one thing is for sure. There's a new sheriff in town, and things would be much different from here on out.